So what's up guys, it's a very wet Monday afternoon. I just finished up with uh, Chadlin from the Scene Shack with that beautiful M3 competition pack that he had built. So now we're on the way to Street Crew Customs, the guys that actually won Camp Fest this year. So if you guys want to see that beautiful Golf 1 build, stay tuned guys. So uh, just pulled up to Street Crew Customs, the uh, small custom shop in Robert Cham, that's in Joburg South. Uh, the Golf 2 that we saw in that morning video. Uh, let's pull into their shop and see what they got for us. Hello, hello. Hi guys. Uh, this is Adil. You guys recall him from the morning vl uh, vlog that I did. Uh, he's the owner of Emotion and he's also co-owner of Street Crew Customs. It's a family business. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the business. So like I mentioned in the videos is that our Street Crew Customs not very well known. Hopefully through Emotion being a campus winning best of show not only best of show best mark one best paint best a install that uh, our business spreads out there more clients come in the more we can do for people and to better ourselves out there that so, would be much appreciated no definitely so um, that's what campfest does really well uh, if you guys watched the video yesterday with uh, chadlin you guys all know that it's done amazing things for the scene shack because he was a runner up in the competition and um, i'm sure it's gonna do amazing things for your business as well because mm -hmm. a lot of people are gonna want you guys to do what you did to emotion on their vehicles i would love it the main thing behind it is we never built to compete we built to advertise our street crew customs what we're capable of doing from the front to the back of the car, from under to top, inside, all around. That's the main point why we built it and took it to feed up yes. So uh, let's have a closer look. You can see we've got all the cameras set up here for the interview. Uh, we obviously here for the interview for the, the, the citizen documentary. But uh, I gotta bring you guys on the channel some vlog content. It just wouldn't be awesome without the vlog content. So um, tell us a little about the wheels because I'm looking closely here. And if you guys look closely, you'll see that the wheels actually say Emotion. And it is a Ewing Emotion. That's the name of the wheel. But it's been customized here. Tell us what you did on the wheel there. So the wheel wasn't the way it was. It was normal. We sent it into a high polished dish, respray the face and the back of the wheel gold, even the weights on the wheel, it's painted green. So the wheel decals, I custom designed it to OEM spec. I never used the OEM colors, I went to the black with the, what's the name of this, the mirror gold vinyl, and even the badges, uh, I went to as close as OEM. Then um, I see your calipers are also painted, it matches there. If you guys look in there, you can actually see that that whole strut, the mounting of the strut has also been uh, chromed. Everything, okay, luckily the struts came chrome, so we maintained it, we polished it, kept polishing it. Inside the wheel arches, it sprayed, all the rubberizing is taken off inside the wheel arches behind the fender under the car Lower so uh, arms you guys in. can see there like everything if you can have a little peek there you'll see 
and then also underneath here you guys can see the whole strut there control arm everything is gold the bottom of the car is also the same color it's been painted it's been painted not only painted the color of the car i did a custom design and i don't want to reveal too much of it there will be a time where i will reveal but at the moment i feel it's too soon because everyone i like to keep the, sus the suspense in the air everyone okay. wants to see the undercarriage there will be a day keep in touch check our page out maybe it will be on the page maybe it will be at the show who knows but yeah so yeah now there you guys have it but i've yeah. actually personally touched the bottom of the the chassis and i can tell you guys it is completely smooth under there so they have taken off the original rubberizer that came from the factory to get that smooth effect and that i can tell you is not an easy job because when we built my caddy the panel beater complained when I asked him to take that rubberizer off of the car. Like they say, if you want to do something, you do it properly. And if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Don't do it Even the all. fuel lines is color-coded, brake lines is color-coded, everything under the car is color-coded. Pipes, your brake pipes, new pipes, everything is refurbed or new. Even the, the, the lip here in the front. So you guys that know golf ones, you'll see that lip there. That lip is custom too as well, guys. That lip doesn't come with those little vents on there. Those vents there were customized by Street Crew Customs just to give it that little bit more of an original look. Also on the grill there, you see color-coded with the gold. That's the same gold that's underneath the car and running through the whole car. So, like, there's a lot of care that went into the paint on this car. The nice thing is, it's not too much of this or too much of that color. We made the colors evenly distributed throughout the car. And the color combination was a good choice. And they just complement each other either throughout the car. So, um... If you guys look at the footman there, you'll see it's got lovely footman. The air suspension was also done in-house. Uh, what air suspension did you guys use? We got the uh, Elax struts and bags and the P7 down management system. P7 down management, that's Bluetooth and, uh, and, and remote. Eh? And then um, seats over there, you want to open up for us and uh, walk us through the seats because a lot of people had a lot to say about this car winning. So the seats is the original Golf 1 seats, the old school seats, the 1979-1980s with no headrest. So what I did is I stripped the old seat, looked at the frame, I had a picture in mind of what I wanted it to be. It never came out exactly as I wanted it. So I cut the frame, refabricated the foam, and uh, did some uh, welding on the seats, make it more bucket look, more comfy, and cover it up, and added up a small headrest to it. And I see the mats actually match the seats there, right? Yeah, so we took all carpet out, so basically when you jump in the car and drive the car, no shoes allowed. No shoes allowed in this no car, guys. This is a purpose-built show car. This is not for daily driving at all. You can see over there they've got the management system for the Bluetooth. Nice inbuilt system. This is the original dash from the car, guys. Yes. And this car was in such condition that all the original buttons and everything worked already before the car was built. It's quite an an, uh, an amazing piece of of history here because I mean you don't find these in this condition anymore. Eh? It's got all the ashtrays there, all the vents are there. Um, car obviously didn't have aircon back then. Yeah, they had a normal your heater box that they were removed. And then, um, this yeah. is something a lot of guys never noticed when this car was originally built, guys. So if you look at this gear shift over here, this thing has a sequential gearbox in. This is built for racing. So it was a custom gearbox that they sourced in South Africa. Uh, tell us more about the box. Why a racing box? Before the car was built, we had the box in. 
but a normal 16 valve motor and it wasn't for racing it's more we had the robot you see someone next to you it's more for the purpose of having fun on the roads not really into racing and it, it it gave performance it gave the looks it gave performance we love the performance so we never end up changing it we put it back in uh, to complement the motor right now where we have all the other upgrades towards it and then this custom center console here is the only piece you guys added on yeah the center console is a full center console from the front it connects up to the back runs to the handbrake and to touches through to the back so that custom made by you guys as well so you guys see there's a lot of custom touches they do the seats have been done in-house as well guys so um besides doing car interiors they also do lounge suites and stuff like that so they really do know what they're doing they've got a lot of experience uh the door panels over here it's got this uh it's a suede, what is this? Velvet. Alcantara. No, not Alcantara. It's normal, uh, it's velvet. So this is a velvet that they've got there and it matches perfectly with the brown leather because you see there, that stitch over there matches the velvet. And it's small little details like that that the judges must have been looking at when they looked at this car. That very same material is used up there on the roof lining. On the floor. And then the on the floor and send the console so over here it's the boot in store it's got the same material running through here as well those very same stitches the same cotton has been used there to stitch it and then same here running through there as you guys can see the wheel arches on the inside here the shock towers everything painted so this was a proper paint job where the car was stripped down completely right, yeah. so you could paint the inside and the outside eh? so you've got the two compressors set up there yeah. and then hard lines which have also been matched guys and that's not something you see often a lot of the guys usually just keep the lines chrome because they think the shiny look is good and then that's that block there obviously got the street uh, crew customs uh, logo on it that's also something that does in-house he's also a graphic designer, designer. creates stickers he did all the stickers himself Even the sticker the on the wheels as well yes. the t-shirt that he's wearing today something that they design in-house as well so um i see you've got targa sponsor is it your preferred so from like i mentioned Throughout all our years, we've been with Taga, been running Taga, and we love it. We so you guys were sound guys yeah. before you were stunts guys. And we only used to run full on Taga from wires to amps to subs to speakers to radios, everything. So full on system here, it's speakers at Taga, wiring, RCAs, all wires, power cable, subs, amp is all Taga. Guys, this here is fiberglass molded and then they've covered it with that same velvet material that you see on the door panels. So that same theme runs throughout the car. And this makes it look like something that VW would have done, honestly. No? I see a little trap door and uh, what's under that trap so door there? For safety wise, it's the battery. Okay. Easy access to the battery if anything has to happen to the vehicle. We have to have easy access to the battery. That's your main supply of power. Uh -huh. So you have to cut off that power as fast as possible. So that's... Nothing happens. Yeah. Another thing that I like there, you guys see those little uh, fire extinguishers in there. So those are actually in the chassis of the car. No cutting had to take place on the chassis for that to be mounted, but obviously the rear door panels had to be yeah. modified to house those uh, extinguishers there. There's obviously one on both sides. It's not only there for uh, sure. for show, it's, it's there for purpose so that, like Adil said, if anything happens, you have sound, you have wiring for the management system, it could catch a light quickly and you don't want anything happening to your car, you just grab your extinguisher and put the fire out. Definitely. So uh, it's got a roll cage there, right? 
we can see that the row cage is, is uh, mounted onto the door pillar there and then um, on the top here of the, the wheel arch. Yeah. That row cage actually has a purpose, right? It does. So we never go according to every other Mark I build row cage. We want to be different. That's the whole point of a build is to be different. So we redesigned this row cage to fit in, to suit the custom. And even in that sort is to strengthen the chassis in the back. Anything can happen. Your car can be on the trailer. Any what can happen. The worst things can happen. So for safety, you have that roll cage in. You not just have the roll cage in as any other roll cages. Customize it. Be something different. So you guys can see there, it's got like a little, it's is a that original, a Wolfsburg? Yeah, original Wolfsburg badge. That's an original Wolfsburg badge there on. So this is like a mounting in the middle that the four poles of the of the rail cage goes on to. And then even on the inside there, guys, they've got some some of that uh, same velvet material that you guys see on the door panel. And that is the amount of detail that has gone into it. Even on the back of the seats there, you can check it out. It's obviously got the back seat delete, so yeah. on the back it's got that same velvet. And you wouldn't even say this is our original Golf 1 seat, eh? <laughs> it's like totally, totally com uh, transformed. Eh? completely transformed it's got the original lights there so it's a golf l which is uh i never removed the back panel like i mentioned there's no cuts there's no joints in this car absolutely nothing so this car has never been in an accident never. that is how fresh it is let's go and look at a little bit more so the shock over here when we say he hasn't color coded too much you can see just small little touches. Those hinges over there on the boot have also been customized. And on the door, the same thing has been done. You can see on the hinges on the door there, also color coded. So there's, there's, there's a good balance, like Adil said. Quite a good balance. If you look from this side over there, that fitment amazing we've got this chrome trim around the the petrol cap as well is that yeah, an original yeah. trim because i've it's never seen one get. it's oem and that's the amount of detail that goes into this car uh you want to open on this side for us Adi? let's have a look at that steering so uh you guys can see that steering is something that we also don't see that's a three-spoke steering chrome. Uh, tell us more about it. Uh, your brother said he got it from a friend of his. One of our suppliers, so when I went to see him, and he personally showed it to me, he never had it on display. And it caught my attention. It may not be the best to other viewers, but to me, it spoke to me. It, I, in my mind, it, I could imagine it to what we were building to the interior. And we t I took it, and when we came home, once the interior was done and I fitted it in, it just complements the interior, the inside of the car. And that's what's the whole thing, it needs to complement what you're busy with. And also with that chrome um, trim on the dash, the chrome in the steering wheel ties in perfectly, and then you have the brown from the wood that also ties in with the brown on the dash. And if you guys look closely, you'll see that they've used that same leather, the same stitch on the dashboard as well. So obviously a uh, Golf 1 dash didn't have leather on it, so that's something they've done as well. And it's also something they do in-house. First time they also did their own interior on the car. They normally do lounge suites and stuff like that. But um, on this project, they decided to showcase what they can do on the seats as well. You see the plastic there, guys? Like he said, no shoes in the car. So even when the car's parking, they've got plastic over the setup in the back, plastic over the, 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 the carpet so that they can obviously move the car. We've got um, velocity pedals over there. It's called four. So that's Golf 4, not even Velocity, it looks like the Velo, but once again, even the pedals, pe pedals have been color coded as well. You guys can see, 
Even over there, all the grommets are there, nothing is missing. It's a magnificent piece. Even the studs here on the side of the dash. Still chrome, guys. I mean... And then I see, um... You guys got, got some, uh, Stuff on the, on the dash there. So when you turn your ignition on, what are the gauges for and what does the... The gauge display on top of that? I see this. Is that a voltage meter? Yeah, so basically you can go in. On the top one is the voltage meter. On the far left is the oil pressure gauge, the center is the water temperature and on the right side is the rev counter. Whereas these original Golf uh, L's with a old school dash only come with the speedo, doesn't have the rev counter. So you guys customize that and it, it, it also gives to the original feel of the car because if you guys remember Golf 1 GTIs and CTIs came with those three um, three gauges there as well the they had the oil pressure the the what does it the oil heat and the voltage on those ones yes so you guys basically keeping it original but making it a bit more modern um yeah. do you mind just opening the 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 sunroof for us so this is a hollandia 400 rag top it's a webasto sunroof it was fitted by is motorsport uh, they got a branch in. Um, they basically, when they open up the new branch in the Glen. Yeah. So they went out to the south to to go and do the footman there. You guys can see how lovely it looks in there. Um, unfortunately, the sunroof has now been discontinued, but you guys can see that it's an original Webasto roof, and uh, I'm a fan of Webasto. They come with a lifetime um, warranty, so if anything happens to the roof, you just take it back with your warranty card, okay. provided you serviced it. Uh, we still need to take it for its first service. Yeah, so, so it's still quite new then. Eh? It hasn't even been for a service yet. Yes. That's quite nice. Guys, this is why I came here today, to show you the amount of detail that went into this build. So if you think that this car didn't deserve to win, you guys are wrong. There is so much customization work that went in here. Look at that. The button for the sunroof, the whole housing, has that same velvet as well. We've got that leather going down the center of the roof lining as well. Guys, the detail here. It's amazing. Uh, you want to maybe pop the bonnet for us? Let's uh, show the guys why it needs a roll cage. Because some of you guys probably think, ah, row cage is there just for looks, eh? So there we go, guys. This is what the motor looks like. She's got a 16-valve yes, motor 16 there. 16-valve motor. It's worked. It's not standard. We have the steel crank in it, forged corn rods, high compression pistons. Here has been worked to stage 3 R8 coil packs. We're running it off the Sustec management system. Quite so, um, system. and we have the RXI 45 mode throttles. So, for you guys that don't know about what and why this golf looks so different, this thing has a wire tuck, firstly. Yes. So, Adil can correct me if I'm wrong here. I don't know much, but. There's a little piece of metal that usually comes here, a channel that blocks it off and it has a cover. They've actually cut that little piece away so that you can see the cleanliness and it looks more open in there. Once again, you see that motor for the wiper has also been color coded. And then even the wiper arms, the, 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 the mechanism there has also been color coded to make the arms move. Then that over there is where the brake booster would usually be so what they've done here is a brake booster delete right so uh obviously because you guys don't drive the car daily uh it doesn't make much of a difference i see you do have disc brakes on that's also yeah. something this car doesn't come with no? yeah, rear disc brakes. you've got rear disc brakes so they've got disc brakes all around but when you delete the booster there that does make the brakes a little bit harder, right? Not really. I was actually surprised where 
The brakes are actually sharper and your pedal is much smoother than with the booster. Okay. It also depends on how you run in your pipes and how you connect in up all four wheels. That does play a big role in doing the brake booster degree. But to me, I really recommend this as well to the show guys. It's a lovely system and yes, you do stop in time. You do. So you will stop in time, especially when you've got as much power as this. But obviously they don't really push this car because yeah. it is a show car. They've built it for show and although it has a racing gearbox, it's not really a racing car. It's just for show. It's just a showcase. Once again, let's look at this detail here. So all of these are studs that have been put over the original nuts here. It's a stud cap and it's crew. Small little details. All you guys that were speaking about uh, Escobar having chrome shock tower covers. We kept it OEM. This is 100% OEM guys. Original there. So, um, struts, when you did your struts on this for the air suspension, is it a shortened strut? Yeah. So that the car, when it's high, it's still low? Yeah. So basically the nice thing of the uh, Elac struts, it's, it has the, it's like the adjustable coilover. Okay. So you can adjust the back on the strut. So that's a lovely factor about it. So there didn't be any modifications in the front here. We just had to do C-notch on both sides. I mean, it wasn't anything hectic on it. Even like, like uh, you go in, you said, um, mentioned about the firewall, is we just removed the rain tray and kept it as the OEM style. It just, with a color and the molding of it, it gives it that more oomph, if you understand what I'm saying. And it all the rubbers are there, as you guys can see there, on the steering rack, all the rubbers are there. You can see here, this is your gearbox, um, everything from the gearbox here is color coded as well. Go into the box, so your whole selection, kit, everything there has been color coded. That's the amount of detail and work they've gone through. The brake booster there, color coded. The pipes there, color coded. Yes, this thing is on another Even level. The fuel filter being color coded. Let's see there, guys. The filter, and I mean that thing, you're gonna change after a couple years or so, but yeah. it's color coded. Then um, over here, you'll see there is no battery. As Adil said, the battery has been put into the boot to give us that wireless and empty bay look. Yes. This here is another mod they've done. So that there is an aluminium yeah, radiator, aluminium right? custom, -built radiator. custom built radiator, and the water goes in over here. Now, guys do this to get rid of the water bottle that usually sits here, so that you can also have that emptier look, and it gives you that show look. Now, obviously, Adil and them don't drive the car, so it won't give them issues with overheating or whatever, but with guys who do drive their cars to start shows, the only downfall of having a system like this is that you obviously can't see your water level in the, in the bottle. Yeah, so it just have to be a, a daily check if you do go this route, just open up the cap, put your finger in and feel where's the water level. If you do not feel the water level, just top up a bit, close the cap and you're ready to go. So, um, that's, uh, there's one more question. Uh, can you start the car for us? Just mm -hmm. idle it for us. Sure. Let's hear what it sounds like. So you guys on the channel can also have a listen and see what the car sounds like. definitely been worked. I can hear the cam there. She's got a lovely cam. That's also a racing cam, eh? Ooh. And this is what standard management, guys. Like Adil said earlier. That sounds amazing. Guys, whew, 
she sounds so good, eh? And as you guys can hear there, the compressor's never even switched on, so there's definitely still air in the system. That's the nice thing about a two compressor with one tank. It fills up and it maintains. And how many gallons on this tank? This is a five gallon seamless, so I just high polished the tank. Oh, it's looking lovely, eh? because once again, that color is recurring through the whole car. We've got the chrome, we've got the green, we've got the gold, we've got the black. Definitely. It all complements each other, like I mentioned. It's not too much of one color. They all blend in all together. So, um, one more thing I want you to show my followers here. Put the lights on on the wheels for us, please. Okay, let me switch off all the lights and close the garage. Okay. So Adil's just gonna set the mood for us, you know, make it a little darker so that you guys can actually see what I'm speaking about. This I only saw when the car went onto the stage for prize giving. But guys, this is the level of attention that has gone into it. Over here in the door panels, we've got lighting as well. And it has like this uh, limitless feel, you know, when you're looking into it, it looks like it doesn't end. Sitting in a lounge. Lights there underneath the dash or under the seats, actually, that's shining on the dash. Guys, look at this. Yes, that is attention to detail. So this in the boot as well, it's got a little raised false floor there. So underneath that false floor, we've got the same lighting as well. And it just gives it a great ambient feel, guys. It's like next level ambient lighting. They bring in 2023 into this car, honestly. And this is what model did you say it is? It's uh, 1980. So this thing's been brought forward like 30 years instantly with what you guys have done. So yeah, guys, is one of my favorite features. Look at that. A light fitted into the wheel. Jeez. This is what you call attention to detail. I mean, honestly, guys, have you ever seen something as beautiful as that? And among everybody at that show, I did not see anybody else who had something like that. This is what made it so unique, guys. I was hoping, I didn't, uh, last year Camp Fest, I was there as a spectator. And Vic did mention that on the Saturday, they were thinking about it, where they were going to run the charging a bit late for guys to show their lights. So I said, you know, let me put a bit of uh, extra over there and see how it goes. So unfortunately, uh, it never happened. And that's why on Sunday after the show, I pulled it back on the stage in this way so everyone could see. But not many people was there, but yeah, it's a good thing you get to show them. Yeah. Guys, I firstly want to thank Adil for inviting us through to the shop. Thank you no so problem. much, Mayo. Anyone it's been a real. Guys, if you need any custom work, and I mean anything, you out in the Joburg South area, come to these guys. Definitely, you need to come and see what they can do firstly. It's not only stance cars, if you need your seats done, you need your wood lining done. Even a basic service, brake change, anything mechanical, customizing interior, small touch-ups to your car, footments, accessories, modifications, anything and everything. Now what I'd like to say is, if the car is not drivable, it can't come through for quotation, we come out. To give you a quotation and if you're happy with it be more than welcome to tow the car to my place and we take it from there definitely you heard it from Adil himself this is the best of show winner best paint winner best boot install winner you can see why they took a almost a clean sweep there eh? all you guys needed was best engine bay and then it was a clean sweep eh? but it was nice engine base uh, the reason being I went this way is to keep it VW, old VW, and to have an empty bay. That was my whole goal towards my bay, was to be totally empty. I want you to see my firewall, I want you to see my sides, I want you to see everything down to detail of what I did. 
and what you did definitely was was what the judges wanted honestly because they said it was by fractions of a point that you won so it was very close between you and Escobar but we can see what you guys did differently to make this car so original so uh, this is just another one of the details that they they focused on so these little reflectors at the bottom you guys know those are obviously reflectors they've actually went through the trouble of fitting leds into those reflectors giving it that little bit extra spice guys look at that honestly those are the small details the judges were looking at when they say it came to fractions of points guys wow and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video where you guys could see uh emotion closer and if you guys like this type of content please sub to the channel and look out for the documentary i'm here to uh, interview Adil for the documentary it's gonna be releasing very soon guys i'm i'm just finalizing interviews after Adil, i just gotta go to body line in randberg and then uh yeah, I'll probably bring you guys a vlog from there as well, but you'll have to wait for that one, guys. <laughs> Adil, thank you so much, Maouti. Thanks to you, Dwight. They can follow Adil on Facebook, Facebook on TikTok, Insta. Yeah. And the Street Crew Customs, you'll find out on all these, how can I say, apps. I'm not really into that, but <laughs> yeah. You'll catch us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. And the street crew customs you can go to our page you can see our workmanship and we can take it from there i'm looking forward to getting phone calls from all you guys getting quotations thank you so much adil you heard it from him speak to them get your quote quotation they'll even tow your car if they need to if your car is a non-runner but uh, peace out guys thanks for watching catch up in the next vlog again